Ryan Payne with us this morning to uh, look at the market. Are you comparing the market now with the roaring 1920s? Ooh. As provocative as it sounds, Stuart, I am. Um, are we about to go off to the races at a huge rally? I think we are. Well, first off, Whoa. remember. Welcome to the show. Hey, yeah. hey well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. You should have been right <laughs> top of the hour if I don't know you were going to say that. I asked and begged, but they wouldn't do it. Okay. Um, but I think, you know, the, everyone's talking about a recession, which hasn't, it's like waiting for Godot, Godot it won't show up, right? And if anything this year, I'd argue not only are we not going to recession, but GDP growth is actually going to start to accelerate. Hmm. And one of the biggest catalysts is going to be we're going to have a super cycle in manufacturing in this country, a huge boon that no one's talking about. You have three acts that were passed, right? You have this infrastructure yep. uh, act that was passed, the CHIPS Act, uh, this Inflation Reduction Act, which is an oxymoron. But that's $2 trillion worth of spending to reshore manufacturing here for EVs, uh, solar equipment. Uh, in addition to that, you have semiconductors that are going to be start uh, manufactured here. In fact, this year alone, you're going to have like $500 billion worth of construction manufacturing in the U.S. It's up 60% this year, up like literally two times what it was four or five years ago. So there's a huge manufacturing boom coming. No one's talking about it. That's going to have a huge impact on the U.S. economy. So the market always looks six, nine months down the road. And you see this huge boom coming six, nine months down the road. So you would expect to see a stock market rally in the very immediate future. Well, I warned you about the big metal we've already had. Uh, we've had it. And the question is, right, at this point, do we take a breather? Do we go down from here? And I would argue, yes, that's going to be a huge catalyst for earnings. I mean, earnings are going to start reaccelerating. Already, that's already starting to happen. We're at the bottom of the earnings cycle right now. That's going to get better this year. It's going to be double-digit earnings next year. And even going out to, I hate to go out to 2025, but we could also see positive earnings growth that year as well. So no recession, earnings going up. That's a catalyst for a continued bull market. Just keep putting money in stocks. That's your message. It's the right decision, Stuart, but diversify. Okay, fair enough. But mm. stocks are the place to be at this moment. A hundred percent. Everyone who was saying, I'm going to put my money into a 5% treasury. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Safe. Right. Yeah, that was I me. told you we were going to be wrong, with all due respect. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't wrong. I mean, I made my 5% yeah, yeah, yeah. and a little bit of a tax break on the side. I got right. absolute safety. When the market's up almost 20%. Yeah, but I was waiting for you to tell me the thing was going to go up <laughs> And I begged and pleaded with you, Stuart, so maybe this time it'll be different. I, well, I, I hope you are right. Absolutely yeah. hope you are. Ryan Payne, thanks for joining us. I